good morning and hope you all have been well and this is part 12 of a night in the woods let's play so yeah i guess with that being said let's go on ahead and check out the nightmare uh here so i did decide to kind of just go to sleep and kind of skip into this area so hopefully people don't really mind they just kind of saved a few I guess like seconds overall so I know I kind of like brought it up before honestly that I still feel like oh so that's interesting it's a train then but then there's kind of like a town behind it but I still feel like it's kind of like a representation almost of how like the town was built or how it began or maybe like the goal of Possum Springs and how, you know, people from many, many years ago wanted it to be. I don't know. Or maybe it's the, like the college area that we kind of were um, in for a period of time before we decided to drop out. I don't know. But like from signs here and there, I feel like it still somewhat in a sense symbolizes Possum Springs though. But I'm not sure. So I guess we found one guy, so that means we gotta still find four total. Uh, musicians but I don't know hopefully at some point we kind of get a I don't think it's gonna go into the whole nightmare thing but I really hope as the game continues that we kind of get an explanation you know here and there on what's going on with all of this here but I guess we'll find out at some point so I guess we'll Oh, okay, so the steps are kind of hidden, but they're there. I guess we'll go this way. Oh, wait, there's a path that kind of... Or can you only go up? No, you can go this way. Before we go up, I kind of got... I kind of want to go this way, sorry. Okay, so that gave you a light. Oh, here's the second one. But that kind of worked out. And then this just leads to the front. Yeah, the front of the train. So let me go on back here. Now, I'm not sure if getting those lamps are important, but... I can't guarantee we'll get every single one lit, but I will certainly try to. But I don't know, like overall, like it has to like symbolize something, I, and I still feel like it's with Possum Springs. And possibly with like the whole past thing. Now, this guy here, I don't know if this is the granddad, I don't think so. Because he doesn't really look like a cat. I, I don't know, maybe the old boyfriend we had? I, I don't know. I feel like it's more so a person from the past, but it could be either or. But... Yeah, I just... I... I don't know. And I gotta remember, like, the beginning, the prologue of the game, right, with the whole, you know, granddad... Um... Having, like, his bro moment and all of that. I don't know. I, I just... I don't know. Hey, here we go. Possum Springs, Deep Hollow County. I guess we'll jump this way. Can I... Yes, I can. Oh, I can't jump on the post. Okay. Gotcha. Can I... No. If I jump on that, I can't. The train there. I 
Is that another... I missed it. I, I think that was the final one. Alright, let me go back and try not to miss that jump then. Alright, let's go up here. Oops. Tuba player there. So I guess with that, we'll go on back over here. And let's see what glowy thing appears now. Of course, it's got to be a representation towards Bay. Since we have the whole argument thing. And I still really feel like that's going to be a major bro moment with, like, our mom and dad and maybe some other people at some given point. Since, like, they have, like, somewhat hinted at it quite a bit more ever since we got back into town. And we still haven't really taken that seriously at all. And again, like, I, I don't know what happened to May at college, you know. I, I don't know. But. I don't know. I don't know. I noticed, like, our mom kind of give us, like, the look, you know, when she was talking about, like, budgeting and whatnot. Away message, annual harvest play tonight at the old pickaxe. Come out and see the haunted history of Possum Springs. Happy Halloween, dude. Get spooked or something. Okay. Alrighty. Click escape there. And... Let's just head on out. I want to see if the crawl space was ever moved. It was. Oh, wait. I know how to open this. Left 45, right 100, left 22, left 90, right 15. Thanks, Grandad. It's opened. What the hell? It's an old... toof. Yeah, that's a toof. Grandad put a toof and a safe in the basement. Welp. Never know when you'll need an extra toof. And you and me, too, for gonna go far. I'll take it. Alrighty. Interesting. Now, I've seen that she... Okay. Let's see. How did I mess that up? I wanted to help. I am garbage football. I don't know, because, like, at the end of the day, sorry, I'm kind of, like, readjusting my seat and all, but, like, it's one of those things, like, I don't think, it's, it's hard the word, right? Because it's, like, I, I don't want to, like, sound, like, super rude to, like, May, per se, right? Like, do I believe she's, you know, still being childish and not really taking this stuff seriously? Yeah, I still do. And do I feel like she needs to be more more responsible and actually, you know, look into a career and whatnot? I, I still feel that way. However, she was only trying to help, you know. I've definitely grown quite a bit since then, a little bit taller. A regular bit wider. Granddad said I was sturdy. 
Screw it, I am sturdy. Whoops. But I don't know. Hey, trash bird. Alrighty. So I guess there's no more reading that. Let's see what mom is up to. Hey, mom. Mm hmm. Um. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. You're lying. So, honey, do you feel like talking about school yet? No, we gotta talk about it. Um, okay. So, what's the story? I just felt like I wasn't where I should be. Where you should be? What does that even mean? Uh, never mind. Let's talk about this later. Any idea when you might want to do that? Because, honey, I am all ears. I really am dying to find out why you decided to up and abandon all the plans we'd made as a family. Geez, Mom, where's this coming from? You know, you're the... Oh, the first Borowski to go to college. Yeah, Mom, I know. I only heard that since I was like six. Well, honey, we've been planning for it since you were born, spent a good 18 years, and got into all kinds of trouble just for you to decide you'd rather be here. Might as well have taken all that effort and money and worry and dumped it in a hole. And again, like, here's the thing, right? If... How do I want to word it? Let's say May is like, all right, I'm all for it. It's what I want to do. Then I understand completely why the mom and dad are like, hey, we went to hell and back to make this happen. Money isn't free. I can't dig a hole in the backyard, put a hundred dollar bill in the ground, cover it up, water it, and make my own money tree. It's just not how it works. You know, like it took a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to get you a better opportunity than what I and your father have had. But if it's on the flip side, that it's more so a forced thing that I want you to go to college, you need to go to college, you don't have a choice, I don't think that's right. I understand, per se that you know the mom and dad just want what's best for their child i get that but i'm still a firm believer that you have to allow your kid to you know grow their own wings in a sense to gain experience get into things fall a few times and do what they want to do you know but again looking at may's track record it definitely isn't the most bright track record. I mean, stealing, there's some other bad stuff she's done as a teen and whatnot. And I, I don't blame the mom at all. The mom has every right to know, hey, this is my hard-earned money, your dad's hard-earned money, and we wanted you to have a good future. I think it's only right that we know what's up. I at least tell me, you know. Are you having one of those mood swings again? Uh, like I'm the moody one in this house. You are the moody one in this house. Well, enjoy this house while we still have it. What? What's happening to the house? Maybe it just isn't where we should be. Mom, this isn't funny. You know what? No, Mom, this isn't funny. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. Why start now? Go off and do whatever it is you do. You know what? Maybe if I had more examples of, you know, getting out and making something of myself. No. No. You do not get to. Maybe you wanted me to get on out of here because you never got around to doing it yourself. 
Maybe I'm just the most recent failure in the line of failures that is our family. I'm gonna be real. May is just being a complete idiot. Like, like it, it, again, like I, I hate saying this, but it, it's excuses. You can't make up excuses and just be like, well, I'm the failure. I'm this and that. If you want me out, I'll leave. And it's like, no, like, I, I, again, I, I agree with the mom. Like, she's on the money. I want to know what's going on. I paid for your college. So is your dad. Your dad has been through hell with the work he's done. Same with me. I, I've been working long hours, too, just for you to, like, do this. And again, the mom, like, bringing it up before, you know, maybe we'll change our mind. Maybe we don't want this house anymore. And of course, that scares her a little bit. Like, hey, I like this home. This is where I grew up in. Okay, well, then get a job. Maybe help out with rent. Maybe help put food on the table. Do your part. You're part of this family. Contribute something. Anything. You know? Even if you're not going to go to college, even if, even if that was a waste of money and I just burnt like tens of thousands of dollars for you to have a better future, even if I did that, at least get a job somewhere. I don't care where, somewhere. I don't know. I hate being like too harsh on May, right? Or my, or nope, sorry, May. May's the correct way to say it. Um, I know I've been going back and forth. I apologize about that, but like. It's just, I feel like it's just excuses. I'm leaving now. And I, I really feel like the mom is going to get to like that tipping point being like, you know what? Screw this. You're lazy. You just are. And again, like, I, I'm not going to say like, you know, like lazy is like 100% like a bad thing. Like, you know, like it, it's normal. A lot of people have, you know, lazy moments. Not everybody, of course. But like I don't I don't think of like being lazy like once in a while is like fine to like chillax, do your own thing, you know, just kinda like chill after, you know, whatever's going on. Work, college, maybe a very eventful thing. Wh whatever it is that you have going on. Like I understand that. But again, May again just isn't being an adult right now. When the flood happened that one year this pole fell over and I was scared it somehow electrified the water all over the neighborhood. And it stay that way, and I was kind of afraid of taking a shower or turning on the faucet for weeks. After the flood, it laid in our yard for two weeks, like a big dead thing. But then they put it back up, and I could see it from my window at night, and it felt spooky for some reason. Spooky pole. Undead friend. Watching me from my curb. For a moment. I don't know, because, like, I, again, like, I, I don't want to be, like, too harsh on May, right? Because, like, I, I don't know what happened with college. Maybe something really messed up happened that she had to get out. Maybe so. But I don't know. I, I just, I, I personally, in my opinion, I, I side more with May. I, I, or with May. I, I side more with B, I, or Bay, however you want to call her. I, I side with the mom, I side with the dad more. I don't know. And maybe there's something I'm missing. Maybe. But I just don't see it that way. Don't touch my pumpkin. Alrighty. Whoa, decorations. Girl, you can't mess around on Halloween. Jeez. Want to hear a new poem? Sure. Bats and moons against the gloom. The night is black. I made a snack. Cool. I microwaved pizza, I'd say. Though pizza cold, it's breakfast gold. That's so true. It really happened. Big Halloween fan here. Yeah, me too, obviously. You gonna go to the harvest? Now nah, staying here for trick-or-treaters. You are a saint. Harvest is dumb. Really? I love it. I mean, are you eight years old? No, I'm not. Eh. So I guess we'll go on up this way then. Oh, 
I wonder if we can maybe talk to Bay. I don't know. Before that, let me go on in here. Oh, so you can do it again. I think we're home free. I'm getting the hang of this. Okay, so it seems the one lady is in here currently. I want to see if there's anything else here. Where is everybody? What? Oh my god, we used to do that awesome. Well, you go easy on my on my street, sorry. Deal. I kind of missed what she said, but that's okay. Uh, let's go and backtrack a little bit. Because I have to go feed some rats another pretzel. That's that one kid again. Uh, everything is so great and harvesty, which is basically just less spooky Halloween. Whatever. I just want to head home and get ready for tonight. I could just do that, or I could wander a bit. Take in the harvesty air. Well, I'll get home when I do. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Hey, Aunt Mall Cop. Mall Cops don't carry guns, May. Jeez, I guess you need that gun for... What are you doing? Blocking off the road. Oh yeah, wouldn't want to do that without your gun. You know how many times I've shot someone? No, tell me now. Once. You kill them? No. So you're saying you don't really need it then. You should carry a battle axe. That would be impressive. I'll look into it. You know what? I would love to listen to your conversation. But these rats, they need me, man. They need me. Alrighty. I'm so sorry to keep you guys waiting. Oh, here we go. No, don't do that. There we go. Oh, that's so cute. I'm sorry. Um, I have like one of my uh, leopard geckos. Sometimes when I'm like playing, um, like a let's play like night she'll kind of like watch up and kind of like look at the screen a little bit of course when i look back at her she just falls asleep standing up she's a goofy little guy but i love her uh time to eat there you go where's the third one over here nope oh that worked Oh, there's more of you today. You need more food? Yes, you do. Alrighty. I don't know if that necessarily, like, does anything, but... Alrighty. I'll keep that in mind for the next time, then. 
that were able to get them some food. I kind of hope I didn't really miss a night. I kind of feel like I did though, honestly. But I don't know. Before we go through the town and all of that, I, I, I want to go to the church real quick, honestly. And I want to like explore. Before we head back home. Alright, let's check out the church. Let's see if the one lady's still here. I would like a message from God. Alright, no messages today. See you later. Let's go see if our mom may be in the other room. There you are. I'm busy. Yep, she's not too happy with us. Do I blame her? Not a voice crack. Not one bit. Alrighty. Let's take a look at the uh, the homeless man over here. Oh, there you are. Brave some fire already, dude. What are you up to? Howdy. You waiting for someone? Well, I think I'm being stood up. A uh, date? Not that kind, you mean. Honestly, a big part of my job. Is someone calling? Me heading out and them not showing up. You are meeting them at the statue of Saint. Uh, Rubelio. Yeah, the fire-breathing guy who, like, ate people. That's a bit of a oversimplification. But yeah, basically. Cool guy to have a statue of. Outside the church, I mean. Well, I didn't put it here. But can't we learn something from Saint Rubelio? Uh, breathe fire. Eat people. Let's say breathe fire. Sure. This statue is a part of our Encourage Criminal Acts Outreach. It's working. How's the situation? The situation? With Bruce and stuff. Eh. We wait and see. And pray. Thank you for the conversation, ma'am. What's going on, man? You gonna go head on down to the harvest tonight? I don't know, maybe. Keep to myself. You should say hi if you're there. I'll be there. Okay, we'll see if I suppose. If I suppose, not if I suppose, sorry. Oh, hell yeah. Look at these dudes. Hey. Hello? Hey. Traveler from distant lands, you have journeyed far, and it has brought you here to us. Okay, take everything back about Bay. These might be my favorite characters right here. Look at these dudes. Actually, I walked like 15 minutes from my house. Walker far from home, we will tell you your future. But first, be truthful. Tell us, which of us, which of these have you seen, sorry? A shipwreck, a ghost on a hill, an arrow broken. Broken, really? I, um, hmm. You're all like 14 year old goths, why am I answering this? Hmm. I don't want to be like, like I just says the ghost because of like the beginning of the game with like the granddad, right? But I kind of just want to. The broken arrow, the shipwreck. The ghost. False. Gosh darn it. <laughs> you have failed. We cannot help you. You may see us once more, but it is not certain. And then never again. Okay. Um, 
Have fun, kids. Fun is all we have. Do you like practice that talking and turn thing? You're not gonna narc on us to the pastor, right? For being out here? Nah. Cool, thanks. But like, when have we ever seen like a shipwreck or an arrow though? I mean, to be fair, I kind of went with like the ghost because of like the whole like nightmare realm, right? But... I don't know. Because, like, we've definitely not seen an arrow or a shipwreck, right? At least I don't think so. Maybe I'm forgetting something, but I don't think I am. But to be fair, I am an extremely forgetful person, so... Yeah. So I'm kind of curious. Does that mean technically you can get another pretzel? Oh, okay. Gotcha. Alright, back up here then. Okay. You know what would be such a wild twist? You know, May saying, for example, that she doesn't want to, like, talk about it. What if somehow she's the cause of Casey going missing? And that's why she doesn't want to talk about it. I don't know. I, I don't think so, but that'd be kind of a wild twist. I don't know, that kind of just like came to mind. Okay, so you're just talking about the weather. So let's go on... Okay, can't go in there. You hype for the harvest? Um, Harfest is pretty dumb, right? I'm gonna watch a bunch of old Dracula movies from the 60s. That actually sounds really cool. It is. Gonna get a pizza too. All to myself. Wow, you have a life way more figured out than I did at your age. Really? What were you doing then? Hanging out in really embarrassing places online. Ruining my life. Oh. Sorry to bring it up. Oh, it's fine. Just a thing that happened. Oh right, the thing. Yep, that's my advice. Try not to have a thing. Okay. Yep. See ya. Later. Angus, what's going on, bro? Happy Halloween! Hey, you too. You feeling spooky? Oh, extremely. Can't you tell? Do you spooky face? Good job, Angus. Angus, you're just smiling. And it's adorable, not scary. Oh. Nice effort, though. I love Angus. He's cool. Wait, hold up. Was Bay's father's place not open? Or did I accidentally skip it? Oh, so it doesn't allow you to go in. Gotcha. Okay. So that means that May doesn't want to go in, potentially. Okay. Whoops. He 
You know what I just realized? This is the first time that I've been over here on these power lines, actually. At least I think so. Oh, whoops. Whoops. That building's kind of torn up. Oh man, we're at, we're at like 35 minutes. Let me... I did it again. You know what? I think we'll just end off today's episode today, just to kind of keep it simple, since it is 45 or 35 minutes, sorry, so... Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Good morning.